Hey, this is Bruce from Gilware. Today I want to talk about USB flash drive recovery. Uh, most of us probably have used a flash drive. I usually carry one with me uh, pretty much at all times. Uh, stick it in, save some documents, save some pictures, whatever the case is. I've got them handy, uh, easy to put in uh, and, and get to the data quickly without carrying around a bulky external drive. Uh, one of the main issues with that uh, is a uh, bro broken tip. Uh, maybe, your, maybe your hard drive at work is in the tower and you got that in there and you go to get out of your, uh, move away from your desk and your, your leg catches it and you hear a crack. Or maybe you've got it in your laptop and your, uh, I don't know, your five-year-old comes over and says, what's this daddy? And wiggles it. Um, again, once that connection's broken there, uh, the drive doesn't function. So really there's three main components to, uh, to flash drives. There's the NAND chip, there's the controller chip and then the USB plug. Uh, the USB plug is obviously the part that plugs into the uh, computer or whatever device they are plugging it into. Uh, the most important one is the NAND chip. That's where all your data is stored. So if that chip is undamaged, there's a very good chance we can get the data from that. Uh, depend, you know, no matter if the plug's broken or, or whatnot, um, even if the board is broken that the, the NAND chip sits on. Um, but if that NAND chip's broken, usually it's a, it's a failed case. Now, there's kind of two types uh, of, of the insides of these chips. You got one, and I'll, uh, I believe there's pictures below of these as well. One has the old green board, like you usually see, and it's got a couple chips on it. This is kind of your traditional, if you will, um, chip right on there. And then you have another one, um, it, it's called a monolith, and again, there, there's Leave there's pictures below you can find it's all one piece the chip and everything all inside so in order for us to work on those we have to uh, you know, use a little laser and, and take off that coating and get to the to the nodes inside there where we can do what we call spider wire um, uh, spider wire job on it again uh, you can see this uh, there should be pictures essentially you got to connect a whole bunch of leads uh, very small little pieces of solder an engineer has to do by hand uh, so in those cases yes the price is going to be higher We've got an engineer working on that but it does make the recovery possible so in the event that it's the tip that's broken got electrical engineers here that can get that tip uh, get it fixed get it on back on the drive but also we want to check the, the data because it can become corrupted once that tip breaks if there was any kind of uh, data transfers happening during that time. So get them sent in. Um, again, free inbound shipping, free evaluation. We'll take a look at them. Uh, Pricing-wise, lower end tip getting fixed. Uh, it's lower end on the price range. If you have to pull the NAND off and do it a chip off or do the spider wire, the, the price is higher. But again, we'll do the free evaluation, let you know what we have to do, and you know get you a, a quote uh, for you to decide if you'd like to continue. Any questions, call our 800 number, uh, give us a chat with us, or uh, send us an email, or Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, you name it. All right, thank you.